nuns telling Jew jokes. <laughs> Such fun. <laughs> How many Jewish mothers does it take to screw in a light bulb? No, no, it's all right. I'll just sit here in the dark, and God forbid I should have to go anywhere. I hope I don't fall over something I can't see and trip and break my hip and end up in the hospital where you wouldn't come visit me, but at least their lights would work. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Hello? Ma, what's the matter? You sound weak. Oh, it, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. Ma, I'm really worried. What's wrong? Well, it's just I haven't eaten in 38 days. You haven't eaten in 38 days? Ma, why not? Well, I've been waiting for you to call and God forbid I should have food in my mouth. A waiter walks up to a table of Jewish mothers and says, Is anything okay? Hmm. Rabbi Gwen, I'm very troubled. I brought my son up in the faith, gave him a very expensive bar mitzvah, and it cost me a fortune to educate him. Then he tells me last week he's decided to be a Christian. Rabbi Gwen, where did I go wrong? Oh, funny you should come to me. I, too, brought up my son as a boy of the faith, sent him to university, and it cost me a fortune. And then one day, he comes to me and tells me he wants to be a Christian. Well, what did you do? Well, I turned to God for the answer. Well, what did he do? He said, funny you should come to me. <laughs>What are you in here for? Ugh, oh, getting my tonsils out. I'm so nervous. Oh, you got nothing to worry about. I had that done when I was four. They put you to sleep, and when you wake up, you get plenty of jello and ice cream. Nothing to worry about. What are you here for? Circumcision. Oh, good luck. I had that done when I was born, and I couldn't walk for a year. <laughs> Circumcision jokes. Yeah, we gotta cut that out. <laughs> A rabbi walks into a bar. He has a long, long gray beard. He's wearing tzitzis, the whole package. And he has a frog on his shoulder. The bartender asks, where'd you get that? The frog answers, Brooklyn, there's lots of them there. <laughs> My son is a very successful lawyer. He makes so much money. He buys me gifts all the time. I have a beautiful 65-inch flat screen, a fancy schmancy luxury car, and last month he paid for me to take a two-week-long vacation at a resort in Hawaii. Ha! Huh. Well, my son, well, he keeps somewhat busy at work, but he comes and has dinner with me at least three nights a week, and every weekend he takes me to do errands. He waits patiently while I get my hair and nails done at, at the salon, and then we go to the grocery store. And when we get home, he even cooks a homemade meal for us, using the recipes I taught him. Well, my son is an absolute delight. He goes to therapy three times a week. He spends $150 an hour to talk to his therapist. And what does he talk about when he's there? Me. <laughs> Rabbi Gwen, is one permitted to ride in an airplane on the Sabbath? Yes, in fact. As long as your seatbelt remains fastened, in this case it is considered that you are not riding the plane, but rather wearing the plane. Ah, that's the <clears throat> distinction. I get it. It's a hell of a habit, too. <laughs> Heavier than the coronet. Yeah. <laughs> but so slimming. <laughs> Talk about a silhouette. <laughs> winter morning, Rabbi Gwen was walking beside the canal when she saw a dog in the water, trying hard to stay afloat. It looked so sad and exhausted, the Rabbi Gwen jumped in and, after a struggle, managed to bring it out alive. That was very brave of you. You must love animals. Are you a vet? And what did you expect? Of course I'm a vet. I'm a freezing cold as well. Gwen! I hear Jews have a penchant for complaining. Can you give us an example? Oi, am I thirsty! Oi, am I thirsty! Here, let me oh. help. Let me help. <sighs> Better? Oi, was I thirsty! Please, ma'am, could you spare 73 cents for a cup of coffee and some pie? 
Where are you going to get coffee and pie in San Diego for 73 cents? It costs at least a buck and a half. So who pays retail? Mama, Mama, I got a part in the school play. Oh, that's wonderful. What part? The part of a Jewish husband. You march back in there and tell them you want a speaking part. <laughs> okay, a Frenchman, a German, and a Jew walk into a bar. I'm tired and thirsty, says the Frenchman. I must have wine. I'm tired have I, Gwen? and thirsty. Have you ever cheated German? on the rabbinical I must have rules? Beer. Dry bacon? I'm tired. I'm right, thirsty, the says the Jew. Us. I must have I diabetes. I tried bacon once. It's pretty good, right? Oh, yes, I definitely enjoyed it. But tell me, have you ever cheated on your priestly rules and tried having sex? Uh, I'll admit it. I, I, I did stray once and give it a try. Sure beats the hell out of bacon, doesn't it? <laughs> uh-huh.